Hello, everyone. Let's talk about media and communication. Comics and graphic novels show us the stories of superheroes. They also tear down cultural or language barriers. They encourage critical thinking and creativity, but they can also promote media literacy. Our guest today, Lida Tsene, from the Open University of Cyprus, will tell us about how comics can become an efficient media literacy tool, especially for children. She will tell us more about the Athens Comics Library and how it uses comics to provide a more inclusive media literacy education to refugee populations. Hi, Lida. Welcome to our episode. Hi, and thank you for the invitation. Well, probably a question that is too obvious, but why is this topic so important? So we are living in a very challenging era where misinformation and disinformation and fake news are all around us, making marginalized groups such as refugee populations more and more vulnerable. At the same time, the pandemic brought upon us not only an infodemic, but also digital inequalities, as several communities were ex excluded by the digital uh, transformation. Therefore, I think it is crucial to find new innovative ways to teach media literacy and create more inclusive educational environments. And comics can be the case here, and also a good example of how non-formal education programming can contribute to the problem. Of course, when you started this research, what were you hoping to find? So, as you already told in your introduction, comics and graphic novels not only have the power to narrate the stories of superheroes, but they also have uh, the superpower to transfer knowledge. So using pictures and images is a great means to overcome cultural or language barriers and at the same time, cultivate critical thinking, creativity and empathy. And of course, among their superpowers is also the ability to teach media literacy. Um, so discussing this multimodal uh, literacy that comics uh, offer us, we can claim that comics can become an efficient media literacy tool, especially for children and with a special focus on diversity. So in my research, we try to present and discuss examples of how the Athens Comics Library is using comics in order to provide a more inclusive media literacy education to refugee populations, highlighting the correspondence between comic storytelling and media literacy abilities. Fantastic. Let us know and our listeners about the findings then. Mm -hmm. uh, so comics is a kind of call and response in which the artists give you something to see within the panels and then give you something to imagine between the panels. Scott McLeod states at uh, his famous book, Understanding Comics, indexing comics in into the interactive cool media. So according to our study, uh, comics have certain powers that make them an efficient educational learning tool. So skills such as storytelling, visual literacy, collaboration, critical thinking, creativity, empathy, seeking and synthesis of information, understanding of reality, and also multimedia and transmedia content production are encouraged during the process of reading or creating a comic story. And at the same time, according to Henry Jenkins, experimentation in, in problem solving, mixing media content, evaluating the sources, searching and synthesizing information, and following transmedia stories are some of the characteristics and skills gained within the context um, of collaborative intelligence and participation. So those elements are similar to synthesis, decoding, interpretation and transmedia navigation that comics reading uh, or creating also suggest. And this is something proved by our case study where children with refugee background participated to our, uh, to our workshops. So, uh, the main findings of this study indicates that comics can be used as a, a platform for teaching media liter literacy and mostly multimodal literacy, uh, and especially to children. It's, I think, that uh, very interesting findings. I think the impact is uh, quite obvious, but can we go a little further? How can that impact the life of real people, of the refugee mm -hmm. children and um, the groups that surround them? Mm -hmm. So our research uh, draws from real life situation as it is based on a case study. In Athens Comics Library, we have been designing and implementing inclusive workshops in multiple communities using comics as a platform. So the impact in the communities we engage, we engage with is more than obvious. 
making us think that our risk and fast changing society demands more flexible and more inclusive educational systems in order to equip all citizens with media literacy skills. And maybe we need more arts-based teaching programs uh, who are also gaining ground uh, as they teach us to judge in absence of rules, to appraise the consequences of one's choices and to revise and then to make other choices. The children living from our works, workshops, they come home with uh, a toolkit, let's say, of, uh, of skills that could be used in their real life when they start engaging, for example, with uh, social media and they have their own uh, Facebook or TikTok or Instagram channels. They know better what they want to produce, they want to disseminate, and they also can uh, distinguish better between uh, fake news and real news. Of course, you revealed that a bit, but let us know a bit about the research gaps of your work. So what's next to find on this topic? Mm -hmm. So, of course, uh, there is always room for extra research. And of course, we need more data uh, because this is an ongoing uh, project. So we will continue to measure the impact of comics to inclusive education and to media literacy, with the ultimate goal to create a curriculum with certain lesson plans that can be applied in a formal or not formal uh, classrooms. And of course, we would like to expand the research to other kinds of marginalized uh, populations. Still a lot to find then. You have uh, already mentioned some references before, but can you provide some additional resources of any format about the topic discussed today? Mm -hmm. As there is a very vivid conversation on media literacy today, uh, there is a variety of resources regarding the topic. But if we attempt to look further on how comics can teach uh, literacies, we will not find so many. Uh, however, I have two books that might seem interesting, not only to scholars, but also to educators, journalists, other media professionals, but also citizens, uh, which are the following. The first one is called Lessons, Lessons Drawn, Essays on the Pedagogy of Comics and Graphic Novels, edited by David Silo, which is a collective volume highlighting the dynamics of the use of comics as an educational tool. And the second one is a beautiful book by uh, Erin Stoiter with the title Won't Get Fooled Again, a graphic guide to fake news, discussing all the misinformation, disinformation disorder, but in a comics format. Perfect. And I'd like to uh, finish our episode. So for someone who wants to know the punchline of the talk today, so anything you want our audience to remember from this talk, what would it be? I would like to ask everyone to give comics a second chance to uh, try and see uh, more than meet the eye and uh, to let communities experiment and interact with cool comics and discover on their own the capabilities that will allow them to become more active citizens. A very interesting perspective. This episode is available on the Let's Talk About Media and Communication website, on Kojitatu's YouTube channel, as well as in podcast directories such as Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, etc. Lita, it was a pleasure. Thank you.